All new at six, prosecutors say a man accused of killing his parents in Charlotte and kidnapping his niece back in 2017 offered to trade her to police when he fled to Washington, D.C. shortly after the murders. Those new details just coming out in court this afternoon. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy joins us now live outside the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. Robin, you also learned a letter of, of where prosecutors say the defendant made threats to attorneys and a witness in this case. That's right, Brian. Because of those accusations of threats, the judge in this case issued an extension to an order to limit the defendant's communication while he's in jail awaiting trial. Curtis Atkinson Jr. is charged with two counts of first degree murder and first degree kidnapping. He's awaiting trial, which was just set in court today for July 31st. Prosecutors say they intercepted a letter Atkinson Jr. sent outside of the jail. In it, they say he made threats to members of his defense team, prosecutors, and a juvenile witness in the case. Back in April 2017, prosecutors say Atkinson Jr. killed his parents at their home in Charlotte and kidnapped his 11-year-old niece. An Amber Alert was issued for her. Prosecutors say Atkinson Jr. took his niece to Washington, D.C., where today in court, prosecutors released new information saying the young girl's uncle offered her up to the police in exchange for something. Not to mention his niece, who's the subject of the kidnapping, who he took from Charlotte after leaving her in the house with her dead grandparents for three days before he and his co-defendant fled with the, I believe, then 10-year-old niece to Washington, D.C., where they offered to trade her for snacks to the police. Now, as far as that letter goes that prosecutors referenced in court, Atkinson Jr.'s lawyer says his client denies making threats to anyone. I'm live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.